Hello. Welcome everybody yet again to another episode where I deliver food to Oslo. There she is. So close. Yeah, 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 no worries, man. All right, enjoy. I'm in shorts and I'm comfortable, so yeah, yeah that's, that's where I put it. Yeah. All right. I, I got some hope when I saw you coming with a secret. Yeah, you did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's busy, so maybe that could be a factor yeah. as well. But I, I still say it's good. Yeah. It's okay. okay. That's great. All right. I'm looking forward to home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Enjoy, guys. Been, uh, checking out a few other people's YouTube channels at the moment just to kind of see how other couriers are doing, and what's going on kind of in this in this business at the moment. It seems to be that not everybody is doing as well as uh, as Norway. The UK, some of the big ones are really starting to struggle. I saw a guy in Bristol who was having a bit of trouble just getting orders for that matter. So it's um, it's all getting a bit wild. I mean, fingers crossed that Norway stays open. It seems to be that there's a lot more chains here that seems to be rocking or maybe the government government laws are slightly different here so they're able to stay open but either way it's 
keeping me in the money, so uh, yeah, let's crack on. It's all good, all right? Bye. Have a good day. or whatever else can go down with this COVID-19. I mean, Fudora in Norway has been absolutely booming. I mean, let, let me know if you guys are working anywhere else in the courier business. Let me know what's going on and uh, yeah, we'll just compare notes, I guess. So we are all done, people. Another day done, more orders completed people getting their food keep on watching don't forget to like subscribe hit that little bell icon do all that funky stuff all right peace out